large proportion of these assaults happen to medical personnel and social workers. Take, for example, the case of Nancy Fitzgibbons, a children's services worker in Franklin County, Ohio. While on a home visit to check on a child in her care, Nan he just started hitting my face with his fist and um, probably the third blow, I went down on the floor. Nancy was stabbed to death, leaving behind her husband and three children. We have records of people every day getting broken noses, broken jaws, broken teeth, and it has become a litany of terror for folks. They want to do their job, but they have to deal with the issue of violence in the workplace. So for public sector employees, the issue of dealing with difficult clients, inmates, and the mentally retarded and the mentally ill is a very serious issue. In health care and drug treatment facilities, nurses are often the targets of violent outbursts. We had 27 male patients and three female staff on duty. One of the patients was not allowed to go smoking that day, so decided to cause some disruption. When he started to disrupt, then um, when we went to intervene, he began to attack me. Um, during the attack, uh, he hit me so hard, my tied shoes came off underneath the desk and my glasses ended up about 25 feet down the hallway. We had uh, brought all the patients up to the dining room. There was one patient that uh, stayed back. I heard him uh, yelling and um, threatening uh, another nurse that had stayed back at the nurse's station. And he had attempted to go over the uh, counter. So I called to him and tried to get his attention away from her. And he just bolted at me. Um, if it wasn't for this other patient, I, there is no way I would have lived through what was coming. Stories like these are not uncommon. Violence in treatment settings is usually caused by clients and occasionally their family members who feel frustrated, vulnerable, and out of control.